We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. Today, faithful acolytes, we will be taking a look at this. And what this is, guys, is Tiki Bar, a hotter hot sauce from Kajan's Fiery Foods. Very definitely, we have sort of an island theme going on here. And guys, if you like to read the bottle, feel free to pause the screen here. Not really talking about a sauce so much as the graphic, I guess. And this is from Kajan's out of Ohio. And guys, let's take a look at what might be in this. So this is definitely sort of trying to go almost like a Hawaiian theme is kind of how I'm reading this. So we've got chili sauce, water, distilled vinegar, sugar, chilies, garlic. So this looks like just your chili garlic sauce, maybe like the Asian sauce, and xanthan gum. And then we got mango, papaya, pineapple, sweet soy sauce, which is sugar, water, salt, soybeans and wheat, brown sugar, chiles, lemon pepper, and spices. Now again, one of the things about Kajans is that he used to do a really good job of letting you know which ones, which chilies were in there. And... I don't know if it's a thing where he got concerned about people copying him or what happened, but for some reason I've seen a lot of these where there's just no pepper listed. So my guess is that it'd be something along the lines of um, maybe habanero or something like maybe a scotch bonnet. Uh, there are some tropical peppers as well that could be making their way in here, guys. It's not actually specified. It could just be albino. Brought the chicken over too soon, guys. Before we do that, let's take a look at it in the spoon. Here we go. You can see it's coming out of the bottle here, guys, slowly. It's a lot like ketchup, I guess, for speed, and then you can see it. Or maybe even a barbecue sauce. You could think of this as a Hawaiian-themed barbecue sauce, certainly. And there it is. Let's see if we can get it to kind of move a little bit here. See, this is super gloppy, super thick, and sticking to the spoon. The spoon as a plastic is not really a good surface for things to try to hold on to. But you can see it's holding on. Can you? I'm not going to hold it upside down. That'd be a mistake. <laughs> but you guys can see certainly it's a very very thick sauce. It's kind of almost like. The katsu sauce, guys, that you see, it think of it like maybe a little a, as thick as that sort of a thing. Man, guys, let's take a shot at what it tastes like solo. You get the um, get the fruit right away, particularly the pineapple. I got some little chunks of skin in there. I'm getting bits of the papaya, not as much of the mango. Mango, in my view, is really hard to do with sauces, honestly. It either works really well and it's a nice sweet sauce, or they're not ripe enough and it's a sour, really funky concoction. And that's a gamble, right? So you say, okay, well, if I use the mango correctly, is it a good enough gamble that... I have something that is a spectacular sauce, and there's really nothing quite like it when you get a good mango going. But the odds are not that you're going to get that. Most of the mango sauces, in my view, are just a little dicey. So, yeah, we're getting a lot of fruit, very fruit-forward sauce. It 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 is tempered very nicely with that sweet soy sauce. I can get I can get I'm getting bits of that as well. Uh, certainly, the brown sugar. Seems like it is 
is to the fore a little bit. This is a very Asian inspired sauce. Clearly they're trying to go, like I said, for an Islander thing. They've got uh, Mahalo on there, which of course is wine. So, of course, once more, guys, once more, guys, we are going with chicken strips from the local grocery store. And let's plop some sauce on there. You can see it flows like katsu or ketchup. The, the, the soy sauce, the saltiness of the soy sauce is very understated in this. It's it's there just enough to let you know that it's there, but it not is not dominating any means. Guys, look at how brown this bottle is. I mean, you can see right there, just it's just barely coming off the sides. That's pretty crazy. It's a very sticky sauce, very sweet. Not sweet along the lines of like some of the teriyakis, but it is a very very sweet sauce. So let's just jump in here and. It sticks pretty well. Again, very fruit forward. Maybe a little bit more than I would want, actually. But I think this would work really well on some. Kalua pork, for instance. Pork goes always really well with fruit, and Kalua pork tends to be very salty as it is. This would mesh up nicely with that, I think. This is as close as I'm getting to chicken katsu, is this sort of fried chicken finger here. Uh, and it's not super close. It is very much, very strongly in the vein of a tropical fruit sauce. If you just made a sauce without worrying about heat. So if you didn't put peppers in it, and, and actually, you know, I've had sauces even hotter than this, where they put they stand on the chili garlic, or they'll cut in some fresh Thai peppers or something along, along those lines. But this one is, is very, I mean, the, the papaya and the, and the uh, pineapple are certainly very present. I'm catching little vague impressions of mango, but not not overpowering. Definitely the predominant taste in here by quite a lot is the pineapple. Um, I think it would have been interesting if they would have considered leaving out the brown sugar. I think that would have been an, a, an interesting idea too. As it is, it's good for a fruit forward sauce. I, I've this is the second or third bottle I've had. I've replaced it. That was due to availability, though, not because of that it was a great sauce. I thought it was a good sauce, but it was just available, and I liked it as a dipping sauce for stuff like this. There is a hotter version, guys, I believe, of this, which should be in an upcoming review. I have a bottle of that waiting on deck. I just haven't gotten to it yet. Uh, once this one's gone, you can see it's, you know, we're down towards the end there. Um, so I don't know... It probably won't be done today, but near future. And then, of course, guys, the written review will come for the hotter version of this, followed by the video footage down the line as well, guys. So, so if you go to a Hawaiian restaurant and they've got a sauce that you like and you don't know how to make it or you can't figure it out, this stuff will sub in well. Like everything from Kajan's, it's a very well-blended sauce. It's very smooth. Shaking it up, guys, it helps a little bit, but you can really see the suspension here is pretty tough. I mean, it, there's, I don't know how much you're going to get out of shaking it up. I mean, you might agitate things a little bit, but it's very thick, very, very gloppy. You know, and that has to do with this, these sugar-heavy fruits being cooked down and then throwing brown sugar in there on top of everything. So, But if, but, but if you want a good Hawaiian sauce like that that's got... There's not a ton of heat to this. There's a little bit of back heat. So like I said, I think it's probably a habanero, possibly a scotch bonnet, something along those lines. This is a good sauce to get. It's not, I would not say it's a great sauce, but it is a very solid sauce. And I like it as a dipping sauce as a change of pace. I wouldn't say that this is my go-to for every single time, but 
It, it, it's solid. It's a solid sauce. We'll just leave it at that. So there it is, guys. The supplemental video for Kajan's Tiki Bar. Go forth in peace to serve the flame.